I hope people aren't hurt down there. The tornado hit so fast, Fran and her family almost didn't make it to safety. My son and I were in the living room, and uh, my um, husband came in from outside and said, we better get to the basement right now. There's something, a storm coming, and actually we could hear it. It was sounded like a freight train. So we just headed right for the basement, and I think um, my son's being disabled. I got him about halfway down, and stuff started flying in behind us. Thankfully, they made it into the basement, and the damage to their home, she says, was minimal. We just had windows blow out and uh, our garage door and right through to the back, and our pool was full of fencing, but that's very minor compared to some of these other places. We're driving into its path. On August 21st, the town of Godrich, Ontario, was hit by an F3 tornado. It's been absolutely crazy. With winds reaching up to 300 kilometers an hour, the tornado uprooted trees, damaged homes and businesses, and century-old buildings. When it was over, at least 37 people were injured and one man was killed. Too long. Delbert uh, Schufeld is mayor of the town of Godrich. While on vacation, he says he got a phone call no mayor wants to receive. I had a call from a resident who had my cell phone and said the square was devastated. So we came, uh, started back in the car. We uh, called the state of an emergency because we knew coming back that the situation was very, very severe. The scene that welcomed him, he says, was unlike anything he'd ever seen in his 21 years in office. I was totally stunned. I describe it as a war zone. It, it, it's something that you would see on the TV from Afghanistan. And I, I know that it, it's, that's a funny relationship, but that's exactly standing in the middle of that and 15 or 20 cars, some of them upside down, some of them have been rolled down the street. Now, in some parts of town, you'd never even know that a tornado touched down. But in other parts, it's hard to even imagine what some of these homes and businesses look like. But the people of Godrich are rebuilding, and the town's churches and strong faith communities are helping them do that. Peron Goodyear is the Ontario Great Lakes Divisional Director of Emergency and Disaster Services for the Salvation Army. The local team started uh, gathering supplies for food and hydration services here at the evacuation centre um, so that the people that were being displaced uh, as well as any workers could come and uh, get something to eat, get a rest, as well as uh, we can provide emotional and spiritual care uh, for folks. Operating out of the Knights of Columbus Community Hall, the Salvation Army, in partnership with other local agencies, immediately set up a central emergency response center. Many of these are young people, um, right up to seniors um, who have either lost their homes completely, have not been able to get in yet to assess uh, you know, whether they will have a home, to people who right now still have no power or no gas on, so have no way of cooking for themselves. Uh, so they're being able to come here to get meals and any assistance that they need. And those meals couldn't have happened without Reverend Stephen Tamming's church. I'm the minister of Trinity Christian Reformed Church here in Godridge, Ontario. Well, Salvation Army and us are next door to each other in, in Godridge, and on Monday morning after the storm came in place, I, I came over to Salvation Army and uh, they didn't have any uh, gas in their, in their kitchen to start making meals. Um, and we were the only place, uh, big facility in town, that would be able to have uh, electric stoves. So I invited them over to our church to start cooking uh, for Monday night um, and just to use our facility. Since then, the church has taken over making meals and collecting food items for the townspeople. It's been going downhill, but we've made 500 on uh, Tuesday and about 550 on Wednesday, and now the last couple of days have been a little bit less. Uh, our back of our church is now a um, drop-off center for uh, cans of food or non-perishable foods, and we've become the sorting station, and we're sending those out to um, different spots in town where people can come and pick up food um, from the area. Okay, so Peron, if I walked in here the Monday after the tornado, give me an idea of what sort of services you have available here. Sure. Well, the Red Cross is providing a registration and inquiry service mm -hmm. uh, where they're able to match families. So if there's somebody looking for a loved one that maybe they were in different locations when the tornado struck and one's not sure where the other one is, um, they can try and reunite those uh, people together. As well, we have uh, victim services. They're answering sort of general inquiries, providing emotional support. Um, doing a lost and found and basically any other duties as they're, they're needed to do. The Ontario SBCA is here uh, providing information on animals and animal care. Of course the uh, Knights of Columbus, um, because it's their building, they've been here and have been a great help. But according to Reverend Stephen Tamming, it's not just about the town's physical needs. Um, I've been here for 10 years, my kids have grown up here. 
just to see the town. Um, I love this town. It's, it's my home. It's my place. And for me, the, the, the pain is just seeing people who are hurting and, and how do we help and, and what do we do? What happened to me? Oh, Tamming is also the chairman of the Godrich Ministerial Association, a group that includes all of the town's churches and faith-based organizations. This past Sunday, they organized a community-wide church service. All the ministers from town are involved in that, and we've, we have a, we're in a meeting at the Goddard District uh, High School. We have 900 seats available right now, and uh, the radio station as well is covering that, and we've, we have a service of, of hope. Uh, hope in the midst of tragedy, hope through prayer, and hope for restoration. Jesus calls us to serve and just to be there for people, and so working with Salvation Army and all the other churches in town has been wonderful. But there's lots of work still left to do. Thanks to a $5 million promise by the province of Ontario and donations from people across Canada and parts of the U.S., Godrich is picking up the pieces. Even amidst the destruction and debris, the people of Godrich are choosing to focus on something else. Community. Being a small community that uh, we will get through this and uh, we'll build a, a, better, a better community. When needs come in, um, if we can be of assistance to that, either through the Salvation Army or through the county or through this town or whatever we can do, uh, we'll just be there. That's, I think that's what we're called to do. I want Canada to know that we've been hurt. We are not the victims. We are the survivors. We will build this community again, and it will be bigger and better than ever. In Godrich, Ontario, Bridget Entry, 100 Huntley Street.